Mary Baker Eddy gives us a rule for successful living in science and health on page 442, where she wrote, Christian scientists, be a law to yourselves that mental malpractice cannot harm you, either when asleep or when awake. Mental malpractice is any type of thinking that denies the omnipresence of God's good. See, your natural normal state of thought is the mind of Christ. You as a child of God reflect the mind of God. So only what's present in the mind of God is present in your mind. That's your natural normal state of mind as a child of God. And it's a mind consciousness filled with holiness, with love, harmony, peace, forgiveness, compassion, care, gentleness, kindness and all those qualities that go along with expressing the love of God. Anything alien to the love of God is a form of malpractice. Hatred, ire, resentment, ill will, worry, fear, concern, doubt, and so on are all forms of malpractice. They're not coming from you. They're not coming from the mind of God. They're not a part of how you think as a child of God. They're what we might call outside mental influences. And to stay healthy in life, it's very important that we protect ourselves from those outside mental influences. Which is what Mary Baker Eddy understood very clearly. Thus, she gave us that rule. Christian scientists, be a law to yourselves that mental malpractice cannot affect your thinking. What does it mean to be a law to yourself? Well, it's like driving down the highway. Here in the United States anyway, we're supposed to drive on the right hand side of the highway. So we get in our car, we don't even think about it. We just get in the car and drive on the right hand side of the road. If you're in England, you'll drive on the left side of the road. Whatever the law is, you just do it because that's the law. Well, likewise with thinking correctly, just do it. Defend yourself from mental malpractice. Know that it has no influence over your thinking, no control. You don't have to think hateful thoughts. You don't have to get angry. You don't have to be impatient. You don't have to get upset. You don't have to do any of those negative things. You can live true to who you are as a child of God. You can live in the mind of Christ, the mind of love. Stay in that mind when you go to bed at night. Wake up with it in the morning. Go through the day with it. Take it to work. Take it to the classroom. Express it in your family. Live the mind of Christ. Don't express malpractice. Don't let malpractice use or abuse your thinking. Stay in a mind of love and live the wonderful, happy, healthy life that comes as a result.